Good afternoon, uh, virtual uh, SCA Combat Forum. I'm at Lord Antonio Giancarlo Nicastri of the East Kingdom. And today, um, I'm gonna show you guys how I made my portable PAL. Uh, just a little disclaimer, when it comes to power tools, I am a potato, so this is a potato giving it the easiest instructions for other potatoes out there. Um, as you can see, we have our PAL here. What's good about our PALs that we use at my practice is they are portable. So we can take them out, put them everywhere we want, take them from practice to practice, and move them around or move them around, in, in, uh, around inside of the house. Uh, really easy to make, okay? What we do is get you some tools here. A Home Depot bucket, Lowe's, True Value, wherever you can get them. It's about five bucks, so it's not too expensive. Then we put our uh, concrete and our pellet into. We wanna get four inch, round PVC. Um, I cut it down to 16 inches, so it fits inside the bucket. Now, the next step we do from here is take some duct tape, which we all, every SCA person has thousands of rolls hidden in their house somewhere. What you wanna do is you wanna Put on the bottom and the top holes of your pell when you're making it, just so when you're pouring the concrete in, it doesn't seep underneath uh, into the hole where you're going to put your pell pole, and it keeps it nice and level on the inside. Just haphazardly pull around. see by this tape job potato I want to thank lady Lily Morgan of the East who's on the camera because um, I'm not cool enough to have a phone um, tripod on top. Just so when we're pouring the concrete and the water it doesn't get inside the pell pole holder and uh, gives you a nice good fit. Now I didn't come up with this, this design. This was actually based on a YouTube video uh, done by Count Gemini about how his night school does their poles. Their pels, it's one of their designs. Let's change it a little bit. Roll up the tape. So that's three pieces of what we need to do so far. You got your bucket, your PVC holder, and your duct tape. What I used for the pole are eight foot uh, lumber timbers for your backyard. Uh, they're usually about eight feet. Um, I cut it down to six, a little over six feet just so we can have you know good size. Um, I didn't have space in here to cut it, so I cut it beforehand. So this is what we use. It's about five bucks at your local Home Depot. So, so far we've spent about $9 in materials. So it's pretty cheap. Okay. Um, take our concrete. Now I'm not going to, so I got an 80 pound bag of concrete here. Um, you don't have to use all of it. Um, and you want to get a nice, good pour. I happen to have a carpet knife. I'm not going to pour the water in because I don't have a hose. And I would have done this demonstration outside. But today is very windy. Right. Let's see if I get this anywhere. Take 
wiggle it around. So here's probably about 80 turns back. Take our tool here, just kind of shift it around, try to level it out as much as possible. Make sure it's straight. And as I said, I'm not going to pour the water in the concrete just because I don't have a hose inside the house. My lady would be kind of crazy if I had a hose inside the house. She's like, what are you doing? All right. So I'm going to take a picture of what the inside of our Pell looks like when the concrete is set. You can see this nice deep channel. There's no concrete inside the bottom. So when you do put your Pell in, it's not that difficult. Now, for the actual Pell itself, I used, um, we happen to be doing some projects in the house and we have some carpet uh, from a room that ripped apart. It's really nasty, uh, but you can probably get some remnant carpet from your local um, Home Depot, Lowe's, True Value, whatever uh, you have. You can use carpet padding on the inside. I didn't just because I was lazy, I'll be honest. Um, and what I did is I uh, lined up the carpet uh, along the pell, and I used some 7 8 inch roofing nails to uh, secure the pell to the to the uh, the carpet, and then vociferously duct taped it until no air could escape, and it made a nice squishy layer, and then just marked it with some targets. Your targeting can vary however you want. I like to do different colors. Uh, I have to add one more color actually here. Uh, trying to find my blue tape. So I have white, red, blue, and green. Blue and yellow. Excuse me. Wow. Yeah. Sorry about that. And when the Pell is all done, you now secured Pell. What I need to do to this Pell actually is um, I have a couple of square pieces of wood that I cut to like an angle because sometimes it will rock a little bit. If you have that rocking problem, you can take duct tape and make like a, a ring around that area. So when it sits in, here, let's give that a try. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. Let's see how it works. As I said, this is a potato doing a how-to gun. Uh, duct tape. Let's go through some duct tape here. So I know my carpet comes to the bottom of the, of the line. I'm just gonna wrap some duct tape. To give it a sturdier edge. So it doesn't lock so much. Luckily, I don't tape my sticks this way, it would be hard enough. start we may need to add more at some point but as I could say said it's very portable it's very light it probably weighs about six seven pounds uh, I have about 60 pounds of concrete in hey and I got rid of the wiggle so there's no more wiggle use a little duct tape at the bottom of the base of your carpet to make sure it sticks in nice and then it still comes out So I got a pell stick. Move the concrete out of my way. You can see how poorly I swim. Not only is it when I have, I have one that's kind of brooming already. And when we hit it, doesn't really wiggle. Still gives you good base. Throw shots on. Not a lot of flex back on your shots. Like I said, if you want to invest and put some carpet padding on the inside, you can do that too. I just didn't do that on that pell. Didn't have any around and unfortunately the carpeting padding that we had on this carpet was about that thin and um, very old so we decided not to go with it um do i have any questions no questions cool uh, i guess here my work is done 
Uh, once again, I am uh, Lord Antonio Giancarlo Nicastri. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope this is helpful. Have a good one.